are equitable. And due process has to be handled in all shapes, form, or capacity, even if deputies are wrong. Sheriff Gregory Tony on the record about a controversial arrest by two of his deputies. They say, uh, did they have, did they get too rough with a teen? The sheriff is under a lot of public pressure to take decisive action against the deputies. Now he doesn't see it that cut and dry. The arrest in question happened last Thursday outside of Tamarack McDonald's. A large group of teens had gathered. At some point, two deputies tried to restrain a teenager and one ended up slamming the boy's head on the pavement. The family has an attorney who had plenty to say today. We'll have that in a moment, but first, the sheriff's response. CBS 4's Kerry Codd has that from BSO headquarters. Kerry? Elliot, I sat down this afternoon for an extended interview with Sheriff Gregory Tony. He gave us some important perspective and context on several things. For instance, how he sees the video, the use of force training that deputies receive here at BSO, and why he cannot answer our questions right now about whether he believes the use of force in this case was appropriate. We met with Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony in a conference room at the Broward Sheriff's Office Thursday for an interview about this cell phone video showing a pair of BSO deputies with a rough arrest of a teenager. What do you see when you watch that video? The quick video you know, outlets I've been able to see from the iPhone, uh, also looking at the body-worn camera videos, there's two elements here. First, from the iPhone, which the general public see and what I witness, you instantly wonder, okay, was this excessive? Did we go over the top? Was there any justification behind all the, these acts? Tony said that's why he instantly ordered an internal affairs investigation to determine if the arrest was done right. Can you tell us what you think? Was it done right? I have to balance out a couple of things with that. We're still under an internal affairs investigation. I don't have the liberty to just blast out an opinion because it impacts the entire investigation. The sheriff said there are thousands of deputies who have millions of contacts with the public each year and that this video is not reflective of the vast majority of those contacts. And so when these incidents take place where we see what appears to be the worst of what a deputy could do, understand that that is not what's going on out here on a routine basis. And when it's alarming, when it appears shocking, it's not just alarming and shocking to them, it's alarming and shocking to me and my command staff. And it's going to require us to look into it. There's been widespread criticism of the actions of the deputies and calls for them to be terminated. But the sheriff said that determination can only come after a thorough investigation. So I have to do a balancing act of ensuring that I not only protect the deputies' rights that they have, but also be sympathetic to the community about what their needs are. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're a deputy, if you're a civilian, if you're a firefighter, whatever your profession is, the laws are equitable. And due process has to be handled in all shapes, form, or capacity, even if deputies are wrong. So about the use of force training, the sheriff told me that since he's been here since early January, he said he has not changed one use of force policy affecting BSO deputies. He says he's been focused up to this point on active shooter policies regarding BSO deputies. Now, there's a lot more that we got into with the sheriff. We had a lot of questions for him. Of course, we couldn't get to everything in our interview, but we do hope to bring you more from our interview with Sheriff Gregory Tony tonight at 11 o'clock. Live at BSO, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News.